Hello, it's Ben here from Glide, uh, just doing a fairly short video this morning uh, to introduce some of the popular widgets that users can have on their dashboards. Okay, so if, you, if you've just started a new trial, your dashboard will be pre-populated with various widgets, but I've, uh, I've uh, deleted all of those here so that we can start from a, from a blank sheet. So, to add a widget, um, first you need to be on a dashboard. Uh, obviously, each user has their own dashboard, so they can go through this process separately. And you can set up as many dashboards as you like. So, when you're on the dashboard that you want to add the widget to, just click the plus icon towards the top. Okay, so the first one to take a look at is at a glance. Um, now, before I hit add widget, you just choose left or right to decide what side of the dashboard you want the widget to go on. So let's add that to the left. So at a glance simply gives you a summary of your system, really. So we have uh, 10 systems in the in the template here. We have one user. Uh, we can add users, manage users, and we have one client. Again, we can add clients here. Five jobs. OK, so that one's more of a summary. Next up, we shall take a look at the deadlines approaching. I'm going to put this on the right hand side. OK, so this is simply looking at every single deadline in your system, which has yet to be completed, hasn't yet got that green tick on the job card. Uh, this is scanning through all workflow systems and looking for all statutory deadlines. Uh, I only have five in this uh, demo system currently. Uh, if you were to have more, fairly easy to expand the size of the, dead, of the deadline widget using the plus and minus icon. And if you have lots of results, it'll obviously keep the, the widget fairly small and you can scroll through by hitting previous and next. Uh, a couple of other things to point out, obviously we've got client name, got a deadline description here, uh, have period end and we have the deadline date. Also worth noting, and this will apply to various widgets we look at today, uh, the I icon is going to give you three options here. In fact, if we've activated your system to be multi-office, you'll have four. So the first one is held. So what this will do is it will filter down this results literally to jobs that you are holding. So just to confirm, if we jump onto a job here, uh, so this is the... Uh, annual return, annual return job card, you'll see that the initials here represent the current holder of the workflow. And in different videos, you can find out how to have that automatically passed around between the office. But only one person will hold the job, but one person will always hold the job. So if you want your widget to be looking at ones you're holding, then filter it to held. Next option is linked. So this will again filter down the results, but it will filter it down to any clients that you are in any way linked to. So if we were to have a look at a client card, this would be where, for example, you're set up as the partner, as the manager, or as any staff position on any of, of, of the workflow tabs. So for example, the regular staff member on any of the workflow systems, or indeed where you are the current holder of the workflow. So that's going to be relevant where you might be in charge of a portfolio of clients and you're not necessarily holding all the workflows, but you obviously want to be made aware of any approaching t deadlines on your portfolio of clients. Uh, final one, perhaps for the uh, office manager or partner overseeing the whole operation is overall, and that will be all of your deadlines. So that's the upcoming deadlines. Uh, next up, we have a similar similar concept targets approaching let's add that one okay so targets uh, again these will be explained in detail on a separate video but suffice to say that um, if you have service level aspirations such as you know turning jobs around in 30 days or 20 days after this or that has happened these are very easy to set up within your workflows uh, I currently have zero targets so first of all I'm going to jump back to uh, an accounts job because I think I have this workflow set up to trigger a target when the information is received. So books and records received. Yeah. So that has been recorded on the 15th of May and I've got a automatic target to get the accounts out in 30 days time. So coming back to here, we'll see how the targets work. So now we're very much not worried about deadlines. We're, uh, you know, concerned more with service level.
So again, we have the client name, we have the kind of relevant system we're talking about, which stage the target is on, and the fact that we've got 30 days to go. Now, this is um, just to kind of go into a little bit more detail about how we get the uh, choose the target. Let's put a couple onto a different job. So we have this annual return job. So let's say that we want to, we're going to manually just put in a target here. Let's say that we want to, what day is it today? 15th of May. We want to have these out by the 19th of May. So coming onto the, uh, onto the widget, we can see that we've got four days to go on that one. It's gone red because it's getting fairly close. Uh, now, if I jump back to this job, I could put a target in, say I want them submitted to Company's House by the 31st of May. Now that, that should have no impact on the widget because what we can see is that it's looking through all of the targets and picking out the most urgent one. Okay. So coming back, if I now say, okay, I've sent it to the client and it's been approved, we should now find that because we've completed that stage, it is now focused in on the 31st of May, which it is. So it's now changed to say, okay, you, you're, you've got 16 days to go. So that's uh, that's how that one works. Um, also, if you had any info points with, um, so I don't sure that we have any set up on the on the uh, on the templates. Let's take a little look. Okay, so info points down here. Um, I haven't got any of these set up with a target, but obviously you can have any date points you like down here with a target, and they would also be included in that widget. So same applies in terms of the filter, held, linked, office overall. Same applies with expanding the widget and cycling through the widget. So that's the upcoming targets. Next, we're going to take a look at jobs held. This is really useful actually for people that are really working through uh, different files uh, have perhaps six or seven, you know, accounts files on their shelf. Maybe a few annual returns in their email inbox. This is a great way to keep tabs on what you should be doing. Got two options here: We've got jobs held, jobs held with a target. I mean, this obviously the latter sounds a little bit more interesting, so we'll, we'll talk through that one. And here we go. So um, I mean, I'm logged in as Ben N, and this job is currently held by Ben N. So that, that provides something in the widget there. So just to confirm, whereas up here we had a filter to go down to held, this widget is all about the jobs you hold. They're only going to appear in here if you are the current holder. So this will show every single job that uh, the user logged in is holding. And it will show the target. So it's very much listing what should be done and giving an indication of the priority. Uh, now you can, worth noting that the super user in the system configuration can set the uh, stages that they wish to appear in here. So for example, if you have a first stage on your tax returns, that's simply, you know, when you create a few hundred tax returns on the 6th of April and your first stage is to get in touch with the client, you would be able to exclude that to avoid this widget becoming really big. So you can focus in on the, the action stages. Okay, next up, uh, put this on the right hand side, we have the system summary. So this one is much more of an overview. So we can see uh, for all of our systems, how many jobs we have, how many are not started, how many are in progress, how many are complete. A fairly straightforward one there. Okay, now next is, is a fairly key widget. So we're now moving into the app. You'll see we've gone from um, talking about general uh, you know, non-system specific user widgets. We're now into the system specific. So uh, first of all, we're going to look at the widgets you get on a system that is a client, a trigger date system. So just to confirm on the templates, the accounts, the CT, VAT, annual returns, engagement letters, management accounts and payroll, they are all workflow systems that are created on a client trigger date. Uh, the they get one form of widget, you know, kind of for every system. Um, the tax system, so these are these are workflow systems that create on a particular date you choose in each tax year. So the examples here are personal tax and P11D. They get a slightly different selection of widgets. 
And finally, the manually initiated workflows, so the examples here being ad hoc, new client, they get a different set again. So um, let's first of all choose to look at accounts, and I'm going to look at progress monitored by stage. OK, so what do we have here? Um, quite simply, a list of the stages in this workflow system. Uh, obviously, have a look at the videos on configuration. These will be, you know, you'll have as many stages as you like. So I know some people have one stage. Some people have, I think the highest number is about 45 stages. And the terminology is whatever you need. Um, this one's a really good one for driving the right kind of action. So, uh, you know, we've mentioned that jobs automatically create themselves. So just to kind of um, show that point if I jump to the supermarket limiteds client card and go to the accounts tab um, we'll see that the you know the the last the only kind of active workflow the one at the bottom active workflow is 31st of May 15 and the next year end the trigger date is 31st of May 16 and so that's I've got that set to create one day before the year end 30th of May so when these things, when these jobs automatically create, you know they're going to land immediately in your first stage. Um, often with the accounts, firms will have that set to create maybe a month or two before year end. And they'll perhaps have an early stage that reminds them to you know, either do some pre year end planning, uh, client care call, that sort of thing. So in a nutshell, your jobs are going to be in here very early on. Um, it helps, you know, it brings your attention to them and helps you push them through the process as quickly as you can. So um, again, we have the filter there, which I won't do because it's the same as it was up here. And you've simply got a number. I mean, as with everything on the dashboards, anything that's in blue is a link. So if it's a client name, it links to the client card. If it's a job reference, it links to the job card. Any kind of number, so like we've got one job here, this will link through to the report center pre-filtered to show that job. So that is a really popular widget and you'll have that for all of your systems. OK, next up is another widget that applies to every single system that has a deadline, and that is the deadline monitor. So I'm going to pop that on the right hand side and we'll take a look at this. So uh, again, uh, icon to filter between held linked overall. The accounts and CT system has three deadlines. So it's when your accounts are due at company's house, when the CT payment is due and when the CT return is due. And this is uh, almost very similar to this one at the top. It's going to just cycle through and pick out any deadlines. So obviously your jobs create, perhaps before the year end, they sit in this stage, you push them through. You're, you're probably going to be getting things done with this visual aid much earlier than the deadline. But if you you know, do get close, you're first, well, they're all going to sit in 60 plus days. That means it's more, 60 days or more till the deadline. If you get close and you haven't got that green tick on the deadline, it will start to very visibly appear in here and then in here and then in here. And hopefully none of them uh, become late. So that is a really useful one. Again, this is focused on deadlines. Um, take a look at the workflow basics video to see the difference between deadlines and targets. So that is another good one. Uh, I'm just going to show you finally. Um, a widget from a tax system, so personal tax. So again, the yeah, deadline monitors as before. Let's take a look at the completion status table. So the nice thing about a tax year is that we obviously know that for the year to say 5th of April 15, which is what this year is looking at, every workflow will exist on the day you create it. So we can show in percentage terms how well you're doing. So uh, yeah, not too much data here to, <laughs> to kind of show this off, but we've got one job in progress, which is 100%. You can imagine this gets useful around kind of November, December, when you need to see you know, your jobs pushing through towards the latter stages. I mean, just to confirm on the personal tax, you can also have that in, in graph format as well. OK, those are the key basic dead, the widgets that I wanted to look at. Um, there are some more advanced ones which become available when you've set up things like targets uh, so you can keep an eye on your turnaround. But I think that uh, concludes this video. Thank you.